Have you struggled with major constipation? Well, that shit is no fun. And if you know the feeling of being backed up or even worse, sitting on the toilet and just having terrible poop pains, then you've landed on the right video. Today is all about having better, easier, and more satisfying poops naturally with five foods that you can get in your daily diet. Hey booty, it's Carrie, your tushy enthusiast and better booty advocate. I'm sharing with you five foods that can lead to a more satisfying poop experience. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all kinds of videos on gut, butt, poop health, and of course, all things tushy. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you are a real life pooping human. <clears throat> That's you. Constipation is a pretty common issue for us pooping humans. And remedies for constipation and unsatisfying poops typically include things like laxatives, stool softeners, and fiber supplements. But as we all know, and why we're here today, there are natural ways to poop better. Adding a few foods to your diet that help you stay regular naturally are safe, less extreme, and an effective alternative to things like laxatives. And the foods that I'll be going over today all have one thing in common, fiber specifically dietary fiber. So dietary fiber is mainly found in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, and is best known for its ability to help prevent and relieve constipation. And so we can divide fiber into two general categories based on their structure and what they do in our bodies. First, we have soluble fibers. So soluble fibers help improve digestion and lower blood sugar. Then we have insoluble fiber, which softens the stool and helps you poop. It's important to note that we need both types of fiber in our diets, which brings us to the food that we're talking about today. All right, booties and buttholes, let's go. Number one, prunes, AKA dried plums. Prunes are often used as a natural laxative and for a good reason. Just four prunes or 32 grams contains two grams of fiber. And prunes also contain sorbitol, which is a type of sugar that your body poorly digests. And so with the sorbitol and fiber together, this helps alleviate constipation by drawing water into your intestines and then spurring a bowel movement. So you can add prunes to your salad for a little bit of sweet drink prune juice, or just eat prunes by themselves. Y'all, there's a reason why your grandma and grandpa always talk about eating prunes, and that's because this shit works. And, you know, they've been pooping a really long time, so they must, you know, know a lot about poops. Number two, beans. Beans, beans, the magic fruit. Have you heard that before? If you know the rest of this song, please put it in the comments below. So beans have more than 10 grams of fiber per cup, and that's more than almost any other fiber source. And that's why you fart so much when you eat beans. So beans have a great mixture of soluble and insoluble fiber, which both work together to help keep the food moving through the intestines and to relieve the pesky constipation. And as a bonus, y'all, there are so many different types of beans to choose from. You got lima beans, black eyed peas, baked beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans, and the list goes on and on. Get your beans, people. Number three, sweet potatoes. So sweet potatoes contain a good amount of fiber that can help you poop regularly. So one medium sweet potato, around 4.5 ounces, or 150 grams contains four grams of fiber. And the skin actually contains most of the fiber, so make sure to leave it on to get all of the best benefits. Sweet potatoes also contain a number of vitamins and minerals like B, C, and D vitamins, magnesium, calcium, and iron. And oh, there are so many ways to eat a sweet potato. You got baked, you got mashed, you got sauteed, roasted, and there's so much more. I personally love a good old baked sweet potato. Comment below with your favorite ways to prepare sweet potatoes. Number four, cheese. Chia seeds. So just one ounce of chia seeds can contain a whopping 11 grams of fiber. Chia seeds are made up of 40% fiber by weight, making them one of the most fiber dense foods available to us. To be more specific, chia seeds are a great source of insoluble fiber, which absorbs the water to form a gel that softens and moistens your stool for an easier passage. A great way to prepare chia seeds is simply putting it in your morning smoothie or yogurt, and you can even soak it overnight in oat milk and honey. And in the morning, you can enjoy a chia seed pudding. That's what I do. And last but not least, number five, apples. So one small apple can provide as much as 3.6 grams of fiber. Apples contain a specific type of soluble fiber called pectin, and it's actually known for its laxative effect. Apples also contain high levels of water, which can of course help you ease digestion and prevent constipation. So you guys, in order for you to get the benefits of the apple, you actually have to eat it raw. I love apple pie as much as the next person, but it won't have the same impact as eating it raw will and with the skin on. If you 
want to add a little extra flavor or oomph to your apple, try adding a little bit of peanut butter or honey. So now that you know how to have better poops, it's time to take your pooping journey one step further with a Tushy Bidet. So the Tushy 3.0 Bidet easily attaches between your toilet seat and your toilet bowl, and it washes your butt with a fresh stream of water after you poop. Washing your butthole with water after pooping is simply better for your hygiene, your health, better for your wallet, and it's better for the environment. If you're interested in learning more, check out some of the videos linked in the description below. All right, guys, I promise you, eating these five foods that I mentioned today, plus using the Tushy Bidet will not only provide you with happier poops, but it will leave your booty and body feeling clean and pampered. Who doesn't want that? All right, booties, well, that's all for today, and thank you so much for watching this video, and give it a thumbs up if you learned something new, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Oh, and then one more thing, of course, hit that bell so you're notified every single time we post new videos. And if you wanted to get a bidet or check out our other sustainable bathing products, head over to hellotushy.com forward slash vlog. And lastly, we invite you to join our Facebook group, The Tushy Movement, via the link in the description below. Our community is a collective of pooping humans from all around the world, chatting and learning about gut health, bidet life, butt stuff, bathroom sustainability, and all things in between the cheeks. Thank you so much for watching again, and happy pooping. I'll see you next time.